Another big story that we're following, an all-hands-on-deck mission to fight a surge in retail theft as organized crime rings drain thousands of dollars from local stores. And in a 13-wham exclusive interview, Jackie Napier uncovered where the crime rings are offloading their stolen goods, Jackie. That's right, Stephen. Good evening. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office has launched a new social media initiative to identify retail theft suspects. For the first time, we're hearing about where exactly that merchandise ends up and how the marketplace for stolen goods has changed. More than $100,000 worth of product was stolen from the Victor Alta between 2023 and February 2024. A surge in large-scale retail theft is affecting stores across Monroe and Ontario counties, according to police. So when you look at our numbers across the county, it's really every retail outlet is being victimized. The big box stores, the mom and pop stores, the local gas stations. I mean, larceny is really rampant across this county. In the past, stolen goods were primarily sold in secondhand dealer shops, says Sheriff's Investigator Sergeant David Bolton. Now he says police are seeing products being resold via social media marketplaces or even in your neighborhood. You, know, you look at, you know, baby formula, that's a big one. Um, diapers. We're finding that they're finding their way to resellers, but those resellers aren't your typical secondhand store. They end up being like the corner store or something, you know, in those neighborhoods. Laws are making it more challenging for secondhand dealers to operate illegally, according to Bolton. For the most part, the secondhand dealers are now cooperating. But you still have to wonder if someone walks in with six Makita drills and they're all the same drill, just because they say they're not stolen, don't you think they're probably stolen? Bolton notes that between 60 and 70 percent of suspects reoffend after being arrested. And he believes thieves are getting more brazen. They just load that cart up in the store and walk right out. And when loss prevention uh, encounters them, they completely disregard lo loss prevention, knowing that likely they're not going to be stopped and walk right past. To see posts of suspects, the Monroe County Sheriff's Office is looking for help identifying. Go to our website, 13wham.com. Stephen. Jackie, thank you very much.